Hi, this is Beth Beard from MyLittleCraftBlog.com and today I'm going to show you how I made this little La La Loopsie punch art uh, faces. My niece's daughter is having a birthday at the end of September and she loves La La Loopsie. So this is for you, Ariana. I love you, sweetheart. I hope you have a beautiful day. So the one we're going to be making today is this one here. And the first thing you need is a piece of berry vanilla cardstock and a one and three quarter inch circle punch. This will be the base of our face. And then for the upper part of her hair, using the one and three quarter inch circle punch again and a piece of Melon, Bomb, Melon Mambo Designer Series paper, we'll punch out another circle. We'll take our scissors and just cut the upper portion of that circle off and we'll attach that with a two-way glue pen. Now to do her hair on the sides, I'm using the Blossom Bouquet Triple Layer Punch. Unfortunately, this punch is retired, but I did punch out the largest flower from that punch, and we'll just cut it in half. Apply some glue on each side. Now for the eyes, I've got basic black cardstock, and I believe this punch measures 3 8 inch, and it's from the Itty Bitty Shapes Punch Pack. You need two of those. And then for the cheeks, I've got a piece of pretty and pink cardstock. I'm going to punch out two of those. And we'll attach the eyes first. Okay, now to draw the mouth on, I turn the face upside down and I'm using the cap from the two-way glue pen with the smallest end down. And I just position that where I think I would like the mouth to be, kind of centered in between the eyes. And then trace the mouth on. Then when we've got our pen out, we'll give her a couple eyelashes. Attach the cheeks. Taking my white gel pen, putting just a little sparkle in her eyes. And then to do the flower, also took um, Boho Blossoms Punch and I'm using the smallest flower. I'm punching out a flower in Pretty in Pink. I'll take my new mat here, love this. This is out of the new catalog this year. And paper piercer and poke a hole in the center. Attach a white bread. Now to give the panel or to give the flower a little bit of dimension, I stick it on my mat and push it down. And we'll attach it with a glue dot. face is a little crooked compared to the first one, but it's not too bad. 
so for this little one, I used um, I used the new wood grain embossing folder. I punched out a one and three quarter inch circle, and then I embossed it with the wood grain. I don't know how well you can see that, but to make it look like she had bangs. And then I took a one eight inch by three inch piece of cardstock, and this is in Lucky Lime Made, and curled it around a pen to give her some curls. And then for this one, I did the embossing folder again. And for her hair, I used the Boho Blossoms Punch again. And I used the biggest flower and cut it in half. So you can see the back. I just cut it in half and attached it to each side. And for this one, I just attached her pigtails in the back with a little mini glue dot. And for this one, I used the Retired Punch again, uh, the Blossom Bouquet Triple Layer Punch. And I punched out that flower and just attached it to the back. And then made her a little flower for her hair using uh, this flower right here. So that's it. Very simple. This one I added a little button to. This one has a little bread. So they are very cute and very addictive once you start making them. So if you have any questions, let me know. Thanks. Bye.